After last week's video, I have pretty much covered how to obtain every interesting variation of Chow you can get in Sonic Adventure 2. The Tails, Amy, and Knuckles Chow I covered two weeks ago are ridiculously hard to obtain without hacking or modding. But for this video, I'm taking it a step further. For the first and last time, I will be covering the only Chow that was once officially available, but is impossible to obtain normally today. It is the Moon Chow. The only official method to obtain it was on the Dreamcast version of the game by using the online black market, which is inaccessible now once you obtain 30 emblems. Apparently someone has reverse engineered the market and you might be able to connect to it using your Dreamcast, but regardless this wouldn't fall under the official restriction I'm applying. Anyway, for some reason, the Moon Chow texture remained in all future releases of Sonic Adventure 2, and you can still obtain it by hacking or modding your game. In this video, I'll show you how to obtain a Moon Chow on the Steam version of Sonic Adventure 2 by using the Chow World Extended mod. I'll put a download link to it and the mod manager in the description. Before I start, I want to point out something my subscribers might have noticed. The other mod that's commonly featured in my recent videos is Enhanced Chow World. If you've installed it, you might have noticed that if you attempt to buy a Moon Chow Egg using the new market, for some reason the Chow comes out with the unused glass texture instead. I looked it up and apparently a lot of people have this issue, so it seems that this part of the mod isn't working. And unfortunately, it hasn't been updated in over two years as of this recording. So I'll be using the Chow World Extended method. Now here's something that's very important. Once you have the mod manager installed, scroll to the bottom of the Chow World Extended page. You will see that there is a one-click install option and a manual download. For this to work, you will need to do the manual download. If you already had Chow World Extended installed through one click, that's fine. Just do the manual download as well. The reason for this is because the one click method only installs the main Chow World Extended mod. If you do the manual download and unzip the file, you will see it comes with more mods that the developer recommends. Grab the new challenge races folder and paste it into your mod folder, which should be in this location. Refresh the mod manager and you'll see it pop up. Next, before you enable it, make sure you have already completed all the challenge races in Sonic Adventure 2. Once you have them all done, turn on the new challenge races mod, relaunch your game, and you will see brand new ones. We're going to be doing the first one, rematch the Jewel Chow and the Moon Chow. Now, I will tell you this, these races are really hard, so bring your absolute best chow to this. The first race of this mod is the same difficulty as the final challenge race in the unmodded game. Getting first place on the race will reward you with a moon chow egg. If you somehow already have a moon chow in your garden, it won't give you another one, similar to how the jewel egg rewards work in this mod. Once you hatch it, you will have your very own moon chow. When I saw this chow on the early days of the internet while playing on the GameCube as a kid, I wanted it so bad because it looks more like a Chaos Zero Chow from the first Sonic Adventure. It has a dark blue watery coating with a weird rock-like texture under it, but to me, it looks more like a brain. It's pretty cool. And of course, if you don't like having fun, you can also just use K2's Chow Editor to edit the texture appearance and genetics of your Chow to match a Moon Chow. And with that, I believe I have covered every Chow in the original game. Except the Knight's Chow, but that's just a neutral fly fly, come on man. I put a lot of effort into these videos and shorts since I know a lot of people out there grew up playing this, and hopefully you all are still having fun like me, even 20 plus years later. So thank you for keeping up with these videos, I have some other cool stuff planned to show off, but I can't guarantee there will be an upload every week, but I hope you all look forward to it. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you all later.